After 16 years of playing in the WMBL, Conrad Funk is playing out his final season with the Swift Current Indians. Funk was honored by the team during a recent home game against Moose Jaw for his contributions to the team. And although the entire team and coaching staff hate to see Funk go, recent league rules are forcing Funk to leave the game. Uh, the league's kind of uh, changing the rules a little bit uh, where you have to be in college to play if you're a if you are a U.S. citizen, otherwise if you're a Canadian citizen, uh, you have to be the age of 25 or younger if you're not in school. And I believe you get uh, two of those players. Well, you know, I mean, you get a, you get a local guy like Conrad, you know, and, uh, and even uh, U.S. guys like Sean Lee and stuff that want to continue to play and, and uh, now don't have the opportunity to play up here. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a little difficult, uh, you know, because you like to have guys keep coming back and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing builds a lot of... Uh, a lot of relationships with fans and other people within the community and uh, you know now that uh, won't have that anymore we'll just have to do things a little bit different. Meanwhile for Conrad Funk his final season will be played out like no other. His dedication to the game will continue through the playoffs as he hopes to help the team bring home another WMBL championship. And as he autographs his final series of baseball cards he reflects on his years with the Indians. Uh, winning eight championships it's uh you know, I'm very proud of that. We've had a great team every year. I've been up here. We've uh, been able to play at a fairly high level for most of the 16 years anyway, and a lot of that is to do with the coaches, Harv and uh, Joe now, and uh, they've helped me out a lot. And just being surrounded by, by great players like Joe and Kelly Huraska and Kelly Hoffer and those guys coming up help you out a lot. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been great. Sentiments which are echoed by head coach Joe Carnahan, who indicates Funk was a strong leader for the team and a player who's leaving behind a big set of shoes to fill. Yeah, and I mean, his, uh, his personality, um, you know, he's a quiet guy. He leads by example. And I mean, he's been a cornerstone of this organization for a long time. And, you know, guys look at him, look at the way he performs, look at the way he conducts himself. And, you know, we have guys follow him and uh, follow him leading by example and uh, it's helped out it's helped me out a lot and it's helped this organization out a lot and as funk plays out his final days on the ball field he acknowledges the fans and the community for supporting the team over the years uh, i think it's it's great to have a competitive baseball team here in swift current uh, you know first started and even a few years before i started it was eston and hazlett and kindersley and now it's edmonton and medicine hat and lethbridge and okotoks and saskatoon and regina and all these teams and so you know, it's great that we can uh, still get the community support and the volunteer to uh, cover the budget bringing the players we need to be competitive every year at the same time you know we've, it's a great place for younger guys to to have a goal to play on on a competitive team. Conrad Funk grew up in Waldeck before moving to Swift Current to begin playing with the Swift Current Indians at the age of 15. He played out nine seasons with the team.